Dr. Earl was a fine doctor, my God, and he was so, so damn smart. They called him the Brain. Yeah, that was a nickname of the, uh, the Brain, and he, he was. He loved the island. He loved it. To the day he died, he loved the island. We lived on a farm, Kelwick Farm Road. There's a farmhouse over there. He used to come over a lot because even brilliant as he was, and he was a brilliant man, there was an awful lot of a kid in him. Dr. Earl went to school with Marjorie Rasco to give the kids shots. And uh, some of them were so afraid, so he, he let Marjorie chase him all around the room and really gave him a shot. And he was sick for a week or so, I think, after that. <laughs> he was our doctor, you know, as he was everyone. He was a really wonderful doctor. Ralph was a fairly imposing person, firm voice. He was an awful loud, awful loud man. And, <laughs> and you could hear him from Oswald, but that's the way he was. He was just a bigger than life person. And he was bigger than life. He was tall and broad shouldered. Bald as a cue ball. He had piercing blue eyes. He was fun to be around. In the 60s, he would get a canoe and canoe to McTinicus and back by himself just because he liked to do that. He was a character. I think Mary Wentworth cooked for him for a long time. If you want to consider uh, cooking for Dr. Earl as a, as a profession because he ate out most of the time. He'd always have somebody's house to supper. If he's across the street tending somebody and said, well, you ought to be over there tonight. They got a beautiful scallop chowder. He come right over. Grab a bowl and sit right down. Say, where's that scallop chowder, you know? <laughs> he was the best doctor I've ever, ever met with all his little quirks. He was, he was really a good, <laughs> the best.